Uh, first uh, of all, I'd like uh, to thank you all for being here today. Uh, we want to present to you um, our new um, residential inverters first. So we have uh, single phase uh, residential inverters to offer uh, with uh, both uh, single and double trackers. Very lightweight and compact design, uh, built for maximum convenience for the installer. So it's a hassle-free installation. Uh, we have um, the easiest uh, to uh, install PV inverter on the market. And one example to show you just how easy it is, uh, just take a look at our unique AC connector. So it's a very, very easy design. Um, you don't need screws, um, no tools. Um, just push on the Y, um, enter it, and you're ready to go. So we, we call this push, click, go. Basically, uh, we, we, we say five minutes are sufficient to install this inverter. Also, there's a built-in level in the back plate. Um, so, um, it's, it's easy to have it uh, perfectly leveled. Um, we offer uh, several different connectors um, for either Wi-Fi or um, Ethernet for cable connections. So connectivity-wise, um, we are um, up to the um, state of the art. Also, we offer RS-485 for whoever wants to use some third-party um, hardware. We are compatible with almost every any um, third-party monitoring manufacturer on the market, um, mostly due to our um, open Modbus protocol. So even if you have your own monitoring system, it's easy to integrate. We share our specification with anybody who asks for it. And uh, then we have a three-phase um, residential inverter starting at 5 um, kVA up to 10 kVA and uh, extending for the commercial um, segment up to 20 kVA. Uh, this inverter features uh, two MPPTs uh, with one string each and uh, 1,100 volt DC. Uh, so it's very, very easy and compact um, uh, design, very lightweight, easy to set up, and very robust as well. One of the most compact designs on the market in this power class. And also we have a very unique co connector. This one is from Weidmüller, uh, so big brand. And this is uh, Phoenix Contact, so also big brand. Um, our inverters consist of about 80% um, uh, third-party um, out-of-China um, components, um, and about 30 of those um, percent is uh, German uh, components, like for example, Infineon, um, AGBTs, um, or the, the fans we use, and the bigger ones are from Japan, from NMB, for example, so it's all quality material. And uh, only uh, last 20% uh, is actually uh, from China, like um, the housing, for example. And so let, let's um, take the spot over here. Um, this is our new um, commercial setup. Um, maybe you, you've known uh, our, our previous inverters. Um, we were known for inverters that were reliable but ugly. <laughs> uh, today we can um, present you something that's very pleasant, pleasant for the eye and just as reliable as in the past. So these inverters are state of the art. Um, we have um, with um, 33, uh, 40 and 50 kVA in the compact design and also 110 kVA just below um, um, with both with multi-trackers. Um, so these are available with three, four and five trackers depending on the power class and the big one has nine MPPTs. Uh, each tracker has two inputs, and each connector can feature up to um, 30 amps. So you even can connect uh, Y adapters and bifacial modules and get the most out of your uh, PV installation. So you have uh, no problems of connecting plenty of DC to each inverter. Um, as a rule of thumb, we recommend not to exceed a uh, DC-AC ratio of 1.5, but depending on your setup, you can go way, way more up than, than just 1.5. Hubble-wise, it's all no problem. Um, since we have uh, only two strings per MPPT, we have a fuseless design, so less um, operation and maintenance hassle. Um, the housing itself um, must not be opened at any time. Um, anything can be uh, done from the outside. And uh, the, the uh, SPDs are integrated inside, but the uh, status of the SPD can be checked via our monitoring so solution. So again, uh, there's no need to open up the device. Um, anything. Um, you need to check. Uh, you can either check from the outside or via our monitoring solution. Our monitoring solution is called iSolar Cloud. It's a free of charge monitoring system, um, at least for um, smaller power classes like a few hundred um, kilowatt. And uh, we offer lots of functionality. Um, you can uh, have a string current monitoring. Um, you can have remote parameter setting, firmware updates, um, all, all the other stuff uh, you can expect from a state of the art monitoring. We have it integrated. And 
we have the same uh, Wi-Fi and Ethernet connectors that we've uh, seen with the residential inverters. Um, they are also apply applicable for um, the big co commercial inverters. Plus, we have another um, adapter, uh, which offers a complete data logger inside uh, the adapter. And uh, you can use one adapter for Wi-Fi and connect up to nine additional inverters by Daisy Chain RS485. So you have just one uh, adapter to purchase and can connect uh, several inverters in the field. Um, yeah, I think that's about it in a nutshell. Um, the 110 uh, CX has uh, the AC compartment on the side, so you can open this up uh, like a door and have plenty of space for wiring. And there's also a power supply for a tracking uh, system. So if you have a, a tracker on the field, um, there's no need for additional power supply. Um, we have everything integrated uh, already. Uh, with the smaller ones, uh, we have the AC connector on the outside. So this is a Sangro patent. You can just open here. Uh, this is just the cover for transport. And we have a sec second cover that looks similar. It's a little bit bigger. And there's a PG gland on the bottom. So uh, you can just uh, push, a, push it over the wire. And then you have an open space for working. So you have all the space you need to uh, bend the wires and to connect it. And once you're done, you just um, uh, push the cover on top, um, fix it with, um, uh, with this um, mechanism, and you have an IP66 um, enclosure. Um, corrosion resistance is always um, a big question for PV ma manufacturers. Um, these inverters are all um, certified um, C5. So co high corrosive environment, like with a, um, uh, near, near the sea or farms, for example, are no problem for us. Um, they're built to last. Thank you very much. Very interesting. And I come back tomorrow.